Hi everyone, Inat Kessler here with a new video tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to decoupage a plastic frame. So I'm using an IKEA plastic frame which has all kinds of curves and really hard to cover. So I want to show you a really easy technique to create a decoupage paper and cover it. So what you need is a pa piece of paper cardstock and you spritz the paper with some water and start rubbing the water in. What we want is for the water to be absorbed by the paper. After a while you see that the top layer of the paper starts to crumble into little crumbs while you rub your hands on the paper. Keep wetting it until this happens. The top layer of the cardstock of the paper simply removes itself from the cardstock. So basically what you're creating is a very, very thin paper instead of a cardstock which is very thick. You want to create a very thin paper, almost like tissue paper. So this is a really good technique. If you don't have tissue paper, which is very thin, you simply make your own tissue paper. And the reason you want to make tissue paper is that it's really thin and very easy to work with. So after your paper becomes really, really thin, you have to dry it completely. If you don't have a heat tool, just leave it to dry in room temperature. And then you take some Mod Podge or gel medium, apply the glue to a piece of your homemade tissue paper, and attach it to your plastic frame. So you basically create sort of a collage on your frame with different pieces of paper, of tissue paper that you made. And because the paper is very thin, it's very easy to wrap it around the frame, even though the frame has lots of curves and not straight corners. But the paper is so thin that it wraps around especially the base, really, really easy. So basically decoupaging a plastic frame is much easier than you think. All you need is some homemade tissue paper and you can basically cover any plastic and it will work on wood, on metal, on glass. It will work on any surface. Of course you need to use the right glue, but gel medium will work on all surfaces. So you just need to wrap your paper pieces around whatever surface you're working on and then cover it with the gel medium on top. And this is how the frame looks after it's covered. You don't see any white plastic anymore. So for this particular frame, I've added some pages with rings, hanging them on the frame. You can add whatever you want, of course. And I really hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video so you won't miss anything. And I want to thank everyone for joining me and I will see you next time.